Welcome to the Manhattan Holistic Chamber of Commerce. Hello, welcome to the Manhattan Holistic Chamber of Commerce. I'm Michelle Risa, President, uh, and I'm happy to tell you that we have Carissa Brennan, who is our Vice President. Thank you so much for doing this with me. Thank you for having me, Michelle. We're a team, for sure. And actually, we're launching a new series. Uh, it's called Holistic Help For You. And what we'll be doing is asking you what challenges, conditions, or issues you would like us to address. And we're happy to give you holistic help to do that. Very good. So why don't we just share a little bit about ourselves. Um, basically, uh, I'm an expert in meditation and mindfulness uh, and have been working with CEOs privately one-on-one -on -one for many, many years. Uh, and we'll actually be launching into many major corporations in the Manhattan area uh, later this year. So. Uh, with wonderful new partners. Carissa, want to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Carissa Brennan. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and certified online counselor. And currently I'm working with about 50 people um, all over the world, uh, some in person, some online, and that's with instant messaging, phone, and video sessions, all using secure lines, not just calling people or texting people. And she's wonderful. <laughs> I've, I, I know that. OK. So why don't we jump into the, some of the conditions that we were looking to help people with. Um, but first, I'd just like to share the, the, how people could uh, contact us and let us know what conditions they would like us to suggest. So we have a Twitter handle. And it's at holistic help the number four and the letter U. So again, the at sign, holistic help the number four and the letter U. And if you'd like to email us instead of using Twitter, remind me what that is, Carissa? For the email address, we're actually using the same name, holistic help the number four and the letter U at yahoo.com. So if you have any questions that you'd like us to answer, you can write on Twitter, at Holistic Help For You, or you can send an email to Holistic Help For You at Yahoo.com. And just remember that the four is actually a number, and U is just the letter U. That's the limitations we had. <laughs> All right, so I'm ready to jump in. Absolutely, yes? please. All right, so how about the very first condition <laughs> being um, Preventing illness, I think that's uh, a topic many of us would like to enjoy more of. So the opposite of reducing illness is, is to feel more healthy. And um, I'm going to start, OK? And I'm going to say things that you probably know or may hopefully tell you some tips that may be helpful. And one is being very aware of the food that you eat. And I'd like to just say, I appreciate we all have favorites, and some of them may not be as healthy as we'd like them to be. However, I'd like to suggest that when you choose your food, think of the choice you make to help your entire body and not just satisfy your tongue. So right, the tasting good part I got, you know, tongue is going yum, yum, yum. But what I'd really like to uh, suggest is that we go beyond um, just the tongue, yes? And really think, well, what does my immune system need? What does my blood system need? My brain, mm. you know, my digestive system, right. you know, my lymph. And as we just grab maybe that which our tongue would like, say, but wait a minute, I have to not only take care of my tongue, but a bunch of other places in my body. Right. right. And Skin. There, there are sometimes reasons why we have cravings. If we have a craving for salt, maybe 
That's because we need salt, and we can find a healthier way to get that. Good idea. The other suggestion I'd like to make to everybody is how important sleep is to our immune system. Yeah, we, I know people know about food, but we just gave you a way to possibly change how you think about what foods you're eating. And just remember that if I were tired right now, I may perceive that I'm tired, so I need to eat something in order to satisfy that uh, tiredness. But when in fact, what would be much, b my body will operate much better is when I've had adequate sleep and research confirms that you actually eat less mm -hmm. as a result of having adequate sleep. And adequate, believe it or not, is closer to seven or eight hours. And I have to admit, it's hard for me to do that, but I actually have a tip, <laughs> maybe I'll share later, to when you wake up, to easily fall back to sleep. What ideas have you got to help people with illness? Well, something that I feel is important in preventing illness is to increase our satisfying or fulfilling experiences. There can be, of course, times where we're not feeling so great, and so we try to feel a little bit more positive. And that is amazing. That's how we can facilitate positive change and healthy change. Unfortunately, that can also diminish our um, resistance to illness if we're constantly trying to find the happiness in something, but we are pushing through. So for example, if we're in an unhappy marriage and we might say, okay, well, in order to better my marriage, I'm going to try to better myself. And we might try that. We might try couple counseling. At the end of the day, if we continue trying and we always feel like we're pushing through, mm -hmm. it can sometimes reduce our tolerance um, and reduce our resistance to illness. And so it's, it's important to fill our lives with satisfying and fulfilling experiences. So I, I'd like to just e explore that a little further. So what I'm hearing you say is that creating very positive experiences clearly can increase and enhance and strengthen our immune system, period, end of story. However, if we're trying something and it's not working and we kind of almost have an illusion that something's working, and I'm not talking five minutes, I'm talking maybe five years, Right. okay? You're saying that if I'm really trying something and it's really not working, that can actually reduce my immune system because I'm really doing something that's against what's really best for me. Absolutely. Is that? Okay. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Um, and I have actually one more tip before we go to the next, if that's okay. Um, what I'd really like to suggest, which I think many of you know, but I just want to tell you why this tip works, is w keeping your hands clean. And the reason why is frequently, believe it or not, research shows that we're constantly rubbing our nose. And when we constantly rub our nose, the bacteria that we're getting from our nose, unfortunately, we also rub our eyes. And so by doing this nose, eyes, nose, eyes, voila, cold. So by washing our hands more frequently, it prevents that transfer of the bacteria from our nose to our eyes. Hmm. Right. I know. Who, who knew, right? Okay. So I'm ready to try for stress. We're thinking that also this might be the second most popular condition that people want, you know, staying healthy being one, and two, being stressed. So what suggestions have you got? For stress, I feel as though we can actually change our brain. And there's something called brain plasticity, which is our brain's ability to grow in the areas that we use most often. So if we use affirmations or positive, empowering phrases, then we will reduce our stress. We will actually change our brain so that the more positive, the more uplifting and empowering phrases that we say to ourselves become stronger. And rather than resorting to, I'm not good enough, I can't handle this, I'm not strong enough, nobody hears my cries, then we might actually change that to a more automatic, healthy, positive thought, saying, I have the power for success. I now lay my fears to rest. And so I know a lot of people who really love affirmations. I think 
I don't know the research, but so many organizations send out affirmations to everyone. So what would you suggest people do that might improve their successful using of affirmations? That's a great question. So something that I actually brought um, is something that we give out at the Manhattan Holistic Chamber of Commerce every month. <laughs> we call it our gift. Um, it says a quote every month. The quote that I chose is, when you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. <laughs> and this is what it looks like. That's so lovely. And we share this not to just share a quote, but to more so share something that we can take into our lives and live. So when you realize nothing is lacking, that means nothing can be taken away from you. We share everything, joy, love. And when you realize that nothing is lacking, you are unstoppable. And I love that part of our meeting. So just as a reminder to everyone, um, yes, we every month, and we meet the second Thursday of every month, um, and we give out a different lovely gift from our heart to yours, is, is what it actually says. And I, I think this is a perfect time, since you're now reminding me that you brought that, um, that we're, again, via Twitter or email, contact us. And if you can tell us that you've used one of these tips and how it has helped your life, we'll be happy to have you come to our meeting uh, for free. And we serve a wonderful, healthy, of course, dinner uh, as well. And I think you might meet people that you'll enjoy meeting. So um, thank you. Thank you for reminding mm -hmm. me of that. I'll do a, a quick breath exercise for stress. OK. Um, so. Uh, the one way to really reduce the effects of that is to breathe the same amount in. We're actually going to hold and the same amount out. So it's either we'll start with actually five seconds, just five seconds in, hold for five, exhale. So all of those segments need to be the similar length. And instead of it being either very quick or very short, it's to be smooth, right? And the third component is see if you can, in your mind's eye, breathe from your heart. So you've heard the expression, take a few deep breaths. Uh, research is now showing us that we really need to tweak that idea. It's, it's, it, and really, as we watch brain waves, what they're really suggesting is the equal amount in the inhale, pause, and exhale, as well as it being smooth and from the heart. So we'll maybe just try two or three times just to give everyone sure. a quick experience. So just sitting in your chair or wherever you are, um, just slowly inhale. And please hold. One, two, three, four, and exhale. One, two, three, four, five. And inhale. One, two, three, four, please hold, one, two, three, four, five, and exhale, one, two, three, four, five. That's it. You know, if as your lungs get more strong or actually expanded, you can do it 666, 777, doesn't really matter as long as the number is the same. So again, research is validating what yoga yogis were teaching hundreds of years ago, which is to um, use this breath to reduce stress and really learn how to um, really control the mind. And instead of reacting to things around us, we have that wonderful control. All right. Great. I'm thinking, um, going to our third, um, is how about better relationships? I think mm -hmm. most people care about relationships. I think so. So, Carissa will be giving us some tips. What have you got for us? So, with building better relationships, I think something that's important is to identify some of the things that can make you upset. Uh, we might call them triggers. Uh, some words situations that cause you to feel 
emotional, more emotional or maybe more overwhelmed than you feel comfortable with. And so if we can identify three to five common triggers, then we can come up with some phrases to use when we're speaking with people so that we don't get caught up in that argument. I don't know if you have any words that trigger you, but it might be um, if someone calls you a bully or if someone calls you bossy. Uh, if someone says you are stuck up, there might be some words that can kind of take you out of the moment and create a little bit more emotion than you are comfortable with. And sometimes we can get caught up in that emotion. And rather than recognizing how this makes us feel and acting in a way that we're proud of, we get caught up and we act on that emotion. And so I think if we can identify certain trigger words or situations and then identify a phrase or two that we can use with someone when those words or situations come up, then we don't have to get caught up in an argument. Okay. So let me see if I can um, think of something. So if you called me bossy and I'm triggered by that, um, what I could, in hearing that, instead of allowing that to take me in a direction, right, give me an example of what I could replace that with. What could I tell myself? If someone's calling you bossy and you're feeling a certain way about it, you might say, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'd like to get more input on how you'd best like to contribute or help. You know, do you have anything that you'd like to add? I see. So we were having a conversation and I'm feeling you're monopolizing it. And so this way I say, well, tell me what options or suggestions you have. Okay. Right. Encouraging uh, partnership rather than the person seeing you as an authority or, as, as they said, bossy. Okay, taking, it o taking over. What might be helpful is to go from the you statement to I. So frequently we approach someone and say you did this or you felt that or you made me this or that. Um, and that may or may not be true. However, if you switch it to an I statement, is I feel sad when, you know, or I get triggered or upset when, right? We can really explore. I'm taking responsibility for my own feelings and I'm not making you anything, mm -hmm. right? And possibly, you know, if, if you're hearing that, and I know sometimes it's hearing is, is one of the more challenging parts of relationships, which is why we have all these talk shows and no listening shows, but assuming we're, we can emphasize the importance of listening, uh, we can then um, really go move into an I statement, take responsibility, and then work it through without insulting the other person. So I'm going to offer that. And it sounds like it's less attacking. Right. Right. It's less, rather than saying, you did this to me, it's more, I had this reaction and taking ownership, like you said. Mm -hmm. I like right. that. Right. Yeah. Wonderful. Hope that'll be helpful for some people. Okay, we're moving into um, another idea, which is controlling our emotions, right? A lot of people would like to be able to do that. And um, I think what might be helpful is... Um, I'll give something, again, that so someone can do, if that's okay. okay. So uh, this is from Kundalini Yoga. All you do is make fists out of your hands, right? And we'll do this together. So that would be a great um, opportunity for us to do that. Yes, yeah, thank you. And you, you're trying to pull your elbows as far back as you can. That's cool. You inhale. As you hold your breath, you just punch. And you really try to get angry. It's like punching a pillow, right? Punch, punch, punch. And when you can no longer hold your breath, just inhale. Or ex I guess you're exhaling first. <laughs> Sorry, I'm speaking. And then inhale again. You know, and just again, bring your shoulder blades together, elbows back, hold your breath and punch. Really get angry. Really knock yourself out. <laughs> Okay. Don't knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know what I mean. Okay, you're exhaling. Last time. Again, hold and 
Just let it rip. <laughs> so you were doing a very good job. Thank you. <laughs> so who wouldn't want to come to a meeting with the host of Chamber of Commerce <laughs> and, and relax. punch, punch and release, and release stress and right. anything? So I, I hope you tried it because I know as Yogi Bhajan, actually, that my teacher in Kundalini Yoga, he was the master while on the planet. It, it really is something to watch, but it's, it's most beneficial when you do it, right? So he always suggested don't let people watch, just invite them to try it, and then they'll experience it, and then they'll receive the benefits. So thank you for doing it with me, right? It was fun. It works. And uh, again, you just have to seriously punch. Mm -hmm. All right, what, I, what have you got? And I think we just need to move a little more quickly, but. Mm -hmm. Well, with emotions, I think something that's important is to keep in mind our emotional energy. And our emotional energy is maybe if you've ever gotten to that point in the day when you're kind of at the end of your rope, that's when you have used up all of your emotional energy. And so sometimes we can plan things in our day, and if we had looked at our schedule a little bit more clearly in terms of emotional energy, we maybe wouldn't have agreed to that activity on that day. So an example might be if you have to call a family member that requires a little bit of emotional energy. We all have a family <laughs> member like that, perhaps. Right. And it's just nice to be able to give yourself the space to enjoy that call rather than putting it at the end of a busy, busy day you're exhausted. Oh, gosh, I've got to call that person. And it's going to be so frustrating. But keeping in mind our emotional energy, then we don't ever get to that point where we're completely frustrated and exhausted. So if we Great. can look at our week and our emotional energy, then we can prepare. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to jump, and we just, I just want to make sure we get to our next two ideas. I think the next is losing weight. The obvious is, of course, the food we eat, but I want to again emphasize sleep. Again, research emphasizes the importance of sleep in losing weight. So when you get more adequate sleep, you'll find that you'll lose more rather than less. And the other is fun. You know, again, we have a lot of all. Many of us have are emotional eaters, and again, if you're having more fun in your life, the likelihood of your eating more as a result is reduced. Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to add? For losing weight, I think um, having small meals throughout the day can be helpful, as well as sitting down while you're eating. Uh, that's a big City, one. It's really yeah, difficult. that's a big one. And there are so many fast food chains. You can s jump in, grab something, and then eat while you're walking somewhere or eat in the car. And that's technically sitting. But we're talking about relaxing and actually savoring the food, the textures, the colors, everything. and enjoying your meal. Okay. Thank you. So I want to now jump to our core value. Mm. Um, we at the Manhattan Holistic Chamber of Commerce have several core values, but I think this particularly applies. Um, and it says, foster a willingness to experiment, to tolerate ambiguity, and to execute with supreme tenacity, while be fluid and take advantage of possibilities not first imagined. And what that means is experiment. Yeah, so all the tips that we've just shared, please, please, please don't believe us. Give it a try. And once you're set on trying that one, um, allow yourself to give it a try, right? So if you just try it once, that may not be sufficient, right? right? So we're looking to create new habits. And so we're suggesting that you please tolerate right. Right, and, and have more tenacity in doing it, and then right, see what else emerges, you know, the possibilities you didn't imagine. Mm -hmm. So how can we do a recap? We have a, just a few minutes left. It's, it's gone so quickly. Um, maybe just the conditions, reading sure. those, or maybe the Twitter. Let, let's start with the Twitter handle. Sure. So you're good at that. So our Twitter handle, again, is the at sign, holistic help, the number four, and the letter U at Holistic Help for you. And again, our email address is Holistic Help, the number four, the letter U, at yahoo.com. So please, 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 any condition or um, challenge you'd like us to respond with Holistic Help, 
we will be happy to do that. Um, and very briefly, uh, the ones we'd love to hear, if any of these were helpful to you, thank you so much. And, and a reminder is we offered some tips for preventing illness, for reducing stress, having better relationships, uh, how to control emotions, and to uh, finally lose weight, and a wonderful, we hope, a recipe that will serve you in trying these out, experimenting, and seeing what works. Mm -hmm. We spoke about sleep. We spoke about managing emotions through um, keeping track of your emotional energy. We've, sp we've spoken about quite a few things. Right. And now I want to tell everyone about what we have if they try this out. So if you try one of our tips, just email us, tell us how it helped your life. And we'd be delighted to have you as our guest at our next meeting. Um, a wonderful, healthy dinner is included. And a gift and from our, our heart to yours. Our, our monthly gift is, is also available. And um, we uh, will, I think, say with pretty good assuredness that if you liked any of what we've shared with you here, you will enjoy meeting all the wonderful people that come every month. Tolerating ambiguity and uh, living with tenacity <laughs> are some of my favorite parts of the meeting. Going with the flow, dealing with any issues as they arise, and always, always having a strong partner who shows up. Um, it's really wonderful to have a partnership where you can put in as much effort as you'd like, and you know that you're going to show up, and the person that you're working with has put in if not that much effort, probably double. <laughs> um, and it, That's it's, how I feel, by the way. It's incredibly empowering yeah. to put something together that people benefit from, that we can benefit from personally, and our businesses can benefit from. So if you're able to join us, please do. We'd love to have you. Thank you. So there we are. This is our first launch of this wonderful series, Holistic Help for You. Um, so again, please let us help you. We'd be delighted to. As you can hear, these tips will cost you nothing. <laughs> That's a good deal. And I promise will benefit you greatly. So thank, thank you, you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. And thank you for joining us. See you next time. If you're ready to create a financially sustainable and rewarding practice while increasing satisfaction for both you and your clients, come to our next meeting and experience it firsthand. For details, go to holisticchamberofcommerce.com forward slash Manhattan MT.